Okay, hey everybody, uh, welcome back. What was it, Saturday? I told you guys on Facebook that I stopped off after work because I wanted a smoothie. I stopped off at Juice It Up and I got me a smoothie from them. Uh, I got, uh, it's called the Pina Colada. It's a pineapple, banana, coconut. And it was so good. So good, in fact, I was like, I'm gonna have to make this one myself. Um, fresh. They use, uh, they use just, they don't use fresh coconut, they use like coconut flakes, like just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna use the whole coconut and see how that turns out. Um, two things. Uh, nobody has organic coconut. BJ's doesn't have them. BJ said they're not gonna get them till like summer because they're out of season. Um, but they said that a couple months back and then Stater Brothers had the organic coconuts and then BJ's got the organic coconuts again. So I don't know what gives, but nobody had them. I called up uh, Trader Joe's when I was down the hill. Two Trader Joe's, they did not have organic coconuts. Uh, I stopped off at Ralph's on my way home. They did not have organic coconuts. I stopped off at two different Stater Brothers. They did not have them. Uh, I went to Vaughn's. They did not have them. Everybody just has regular coconuts. They're a dollar cheaper. <laughs> I figured, what the heck, I'm just going to get regular coconuts for now. They'll, they'll have to do because I really like this, this smoothie. is so good. I'm just going to get it. So, let me crack this bad boy open for you guys. Get this smoothie recipe going. And uh, another thing, the, the other thing was that uh, I juice it up. They put uh, non-fat Greek yogurt in their smoothies. Me being vegan, I don't have yogurt because it's a dairy product. It comes from cows. Uh, it's got cholesterol and, of, of course, uh, lipids. It's got fat in it. So um, I'm against that. So you could just tell them, hey, don't put the, uh, the Greek yogurt in there. And they'll do that for you. And then uh, they also have a, a juice blend that they put in there. And... Uh, Oh, it's over there in the dishwasher. The onionita. So they put a juice blend in it. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I could, I should juice up some apple juice and then put that in there. But I'll try that another time. That might work. Really good. Um, yeah. So they put a juice blend. I had the girl read me what were the ingredients to the juice blend, and. Um, I didn't like a couple of the ingredients in it. It was potassium, uh, potassium sorbate, uh, potassium benzoate, or something like that. There was a couple of weird ingredients in there that I have, I have read about them on Google, and actually, somebody sent me a, a chef. It was Chef Michael Ray. He sent me a, a post about McDonald's that they put some sort of. Uh, it, it, what it is is it's a preservative. It's a preservative that they put in the, the foods to have, give it a long shelf life, and uh, McDonald's uses it. And uh, research has shown that it's been known to cause cancer. So I was like, Nah, I've heard of that. I've heard of that ingredient. I don't like it. I was like, Don't put the juice blend in my smoothie. So the girl was like, Cool, and I was just like. She was like, I told her that that ingredient. I know it. I know that ingredient. I've heard it. It causes cancer. And her response was, Yeah, but doesn't everything? <laughs> it doesn't have to be like that, people. And I know the air. Yeah, even the air we breathe causes cancer. But come on, we don't have to be shoveling junk into our bodies. Stuff that we know causes cancer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right? Oh. Try not to at least. Good lord. Yeah, try not to at least. <clears throat> Nobody's perfect, but that was good. It's good? Getting better, huh? Yeah, the bottom is not coming out so good. Get in that bottom better. 
Oh, yeah. Turn it around like that. Nice, Val. It's alright. Boom! Coconut meat! Pretty good, I'll hey. see. Hey, is that a little pink? I'm gonna use it anyway. No, it's light brown. It's, it's good. Wood chips off. Nice. You got most of it, babe. I know. Pretty good. Pretty good. I want some. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yummy. Uh, mm. I told you guys a story about how I didn't used to like coconut before. Now look at me. Mm. I know, right? Mm. Taste buds change. When you're not addicted to uh, fast food, and bacon, and meat, and hamburgers, and carne asada. Taste buds change. That's a good thing. Right. Right, right. Right, right. Coconut meat. Oh, and. Uh, yeah, so instead of getting the, uh, what was it? It was the Greek no, low-fat low or non-fat Greek yogurt. Instead of getting that, I juice it up. They have, the, the girl offered, a, um, what did she offer? She offered um, organic soy milk. They had, so they serve organic soy milk, Coco Jack, uh, at, at Juice It Up instead of the, as an alternative to the Greek yogurt. So yeah, I got the organic soy milk in there. And that was good. And I, so I went to, the, went to the store yesterday and I was gonna buy some organic soy milk. And I ended up getting uh, organic almond milk. And I was like, had it in my shopping cart and I was ready to go. And I'm just gonna throw the peels the skins in and everything because my brother was telling me that that's how he was sold on the Vitamix uh, demonstration at Costco when they do the demonstration they just put the they just put the the, the skin in for the pineapple they put the, the greens in for the strawberries they they put the, the banana peels in for the bananas and they're what they want to do is they want to demonstrate to you how powerful the Vitamix is it just it blends everything up, chops everything up so good that you don't need uh, you don't need uh, to take you need the towel, off. Huh? Do you need a towel? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. So um, let me, I'm getting off track. I forgot to tell you about the almonds. Um, these are soaked almonds, and they're sprouting. So let me. Skins are peeled off. Gonna rinse them. Okay, so where was I? What was I talking? I was talking about two different things, huh? Oh, okay. The first thing I was talking about was the uh, the almond milk that I had at the store, and then it dawned on me when I was about to go to the checkout. It dawned on me. I said they're not using. I bet you they're not using. They're not using raw almonds, and they're not soaking them and sprouting them like I'm soaking them and sprouting them. So I'm not being. There we go again. I'm already, you know, I'm not being true to my raw status. I'm messing up. So I went and I put, I went and I put the, uh, the almond, the organic almond milk back. And I said, I have my own almonds at home. They're raw. Not 100% raw because I bought these from the store. And every time you buy them from the store, the government makes you make some pasture, make some pasteurize it a bit.
Banana, babe? Hmm? I thought you were going to put banana. Uh -huh. So I'm using my own almonds. And I thought, I even thought, maybe I should make almond milk first. And then, you know, drain, strain it out with the nut bags. I was like, nah, just put them all in there. I can use a little bit of the fiber. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to peel it. I'm going to take the stem off. I'm going to do like crossbow. So your brother was saying that they, on the demonstrations, they do it with the pills, huh? They do it with the pills. So am I. I'm not going to let the Vitamix show up my kitchen aid. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Oh, wow. I got this set to smoothie mode. Remember, it's got three molds. One for juicing, one for juices. It pulverizes it really good. One for smoothies and one for soups. should have uh, made that almond milk because I'm noticing. Oh, take, take a look. Tell me what you guys think. Looks good. You can still see some little grains from the, uh, from the almonds. And when you do it, the milk, you get all that out. Let's make two glasses, one for me, one for Sylvia. Let's see how this tastes. By the way, this is going to be my breakfast after the gym. See how it's a little bit gritty? Mm -hmm. If I would have just strained those almonds, it probably would have been a little bit more smooth milk. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's good, though. Looks good. Does it taste good? Try it. Thumbs up. Delicious. Delicious breakfast. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I know I did. I think next time I'm going to strain the almonds and make a milk out of it. So it's a lot more silky smooth. But overall it is good. Alright. Bye. Bye everybody. So it needed more piña. <laughs> It didn't really have that piña colada flavor, so I cut open another pin pineapple and uh, I put two more things in there. And I'm taking the skins off to give it like that smooth texture. So we added one banana. I added an extra banana. But no peel. And Sylvia was like, you can't really taste the piña. So, put, cut some more <laughs> pineapple. Don't get me wrong, it was good. But we want to make it super good. We want to make it super good. Okay, this is my day off today. We're having a party. Oh, yeah, why not, Me right? And Sylvia. Why not add more? So we're going to try it again. You can just walk away. You don't have to watch this thing, it's going to stop when it wants to. Forget it, they're gonna stay now. Okay, babe. Okay. Right. Second taste test. Mmm, mm, you can really smell the pineapple now. Alright. 
So, this is the first time I've ever tried this. If this is the first time you guys are going to try this, play around with your juice recipes. Mm -hmm. mm. Taste it more. Now it tastes like pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pina colada. All right. Cool. See you guys. Bye.